All righty. I like how his name's just Greg in in the things. But you get your full name, Medora. Totally, 100 Well, seeing as I'm the one that actually made that list. Yeah, I'm still below deck. Well, seeing as it's going to submerge and uh, there's a new enemy coming along, I'm going to try to swim to my boat and I do not have uh, Expelling Blast, so I'm just going to have to swim there. Um, I do have uh, advantage on every dexterity check because my cat's face should be still active. That would take me literally forever if I, I would imagine, because it's what, 60 feet away, and given a wide berth, that would be how many more feet more? 90 feet, maybe? Yeah, there's, there's really no point. I guess I'm just gonna... I'm gonna swim Sit. through it. I'm gonna swim through it because uh, I don't really have much option besides giving them more chances for them to attack. In the sit jump. For some reason, my brain has forgot to spell out. <laughs> sure. 
15 feet. Yeah, so 30. 30 in total. Hey, that works. Gotta love Cat Grace. Boop this thing. <laughs> Okie dokie. That's pretty racist. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, I killed Sonic. Get out of here. You killed Sonic? Do I know about how long until the ship would sink? I would like to look for those items. I don't remember what those items were, to be honest.
72 and 39. Which one do you think would fit my character the best? Then I'll pick 72. Yeah, yeah. Rada. Just two, the twenty two and the twenty one. Uh, uncanny dog? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Yet.
Everyone's a rogue, they just don't know it yet. I climb it. Well, I guess it's an early day. Time to start to start killing people. I pull out my learning curve and charge at it. Yes, I'm going to use a fighting spirit so I can get that nice advantage and go and go slash him. This is SWAT, right? Mm. Oh, right. Sorry, I just need to fix something wrong. There we go. Uh, fighting spirit. It's a uh, samurai ability. I will also inflict a intelligent save on him. And I'm going to punish that severely. Very severely. You're not very smart, are you? Um, good luck with that. I am returned. That is a very big sword.
All right, those both extremely miss. I don't think it does. Posh goes after Malleus. So I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to swim back to the boat because I'm still in the middle of the sea, if I'm correct. I'm going to take the acrobatics test. Okay. He's too fast to be deleted.
That pokes me. Dude, watch your sword. Uh, I would like to get everything situated just a bit better. And then I would like to uh, run up to the top of the deck, to the top of the show. Yes, I would like to do that. How close is the, uh, is Posh's ship? Well, they're touching, that's good. Is it close enough for me to get onto it? Nothing's gonna kill a door. Let's go up the manga now. Other than, you know, crumpling to the floor in plate armor. I succeeded better than your mom. I take how much? Take seven schmeckles of damage. Schmeckles. Yeah, my just cadre of enemies just surrounding me. I would like to 
go ahead and pull out my rapier, and I would like to use my bonus action to uh, activate my... Let's go with my Rite of the Storm. So I need to take a d6. All right, you're a blood hunter. I only take one. Congrats. And uh, I will then end my turn, and because of special feat that no one else in the party gets to have, I will uh, I will roll that d. Let me guess, two net ones? Nope, but only one hit. A singular hit. Yum, yum. I'm pretty sure I'd just take a Looney Tune hit. No munch, no punch. All right, time to um, deliver some uh, holy ass whoopage. Okay, um, so who pierced me? Yeah, through the cheek. Oh, mom. All right, posh. Um, well, say goodbye to him because I'm uh, using another fighting spirit and my accent surge and attacking him four times with the learning curve. And, um, I'll inflict a save if that doesn't kill him. Hooray!
Um, I think it's good just to, you know, give him nice few stab wounds in the chest. All right. Um, I don't think I can do much else, so I guess that's the end of my So he's doing a true charge slash from Monster Hunter World. All right. Okay. Um, I'm going to use a lucky dice to make him re-roll that ten real quick. Guess it didn't help. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, that's one hit. Ew. That actually does. Barely. Alrighty then. Uh, well, I'm gonna climb up this rope. So who's on our ship? No, this is a boy's night, Adora. Lads only. Uh, 
All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use uh, one of the few sorcery points that I got. Uh, I'm going to look at which one looks like he's the weakest. Besides the dead one. Like, which one looks less physically built? All right. Since he's a doofus and takes a lot of damage from insects. Okay, so seeing as I see one guy at a range, one guy looks like an animal, and uh, great sword user, and then this. I guess quarter staff user. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do click and spell uh, Eldritch Blast against SWAT, so that's two. Um, uh, Elder Slash. That, that is a no, lot no, of blasts. No, what I mean, what I mean is just the, the two blasts on him. That's what I meant, like, the, the two that come already with that one cast. Like, you can't double cast when you use Quick and Spell. Not the same spell. Yes, you can. No, you can't. It specifically says you can't use the same spell. It's got a sworn you could. I get two beams in one spell. I just wrote for the second. Correct the moon, though. And uh, I'm going to roll a medicine check on a door to see if I. Uh, um, if I can just not heal him, but just patch him up so he can. Adora? Well, it's not a one. I mean, I'm not dying or at risk of dying currently, so... I wasn't trying to heal you, I was just trying to make sure that your back wasn't broken and that you can stand up and help you up. That's good enough for me. I'm gonna attempt to help her up, I guess, if I can. And I got 10 feet of movement, so I can give her that 10 feet for that movement when it's... Correct. Yeah. Yep, yep. 
So he only he only takes away five speed of movement since I guess you need to take half speed. So Tosh has been demanded. Wait, we had Sonic in here? What the fuck is this shit? Yeah, Sonic the Bloodhawk. Don't you know him? No. You should. Oh, we got shit done. Like, um, we were having trouble with getting our medical insurance underway, and we had to do some shopping. The shopping we got done, and then we figured the medical insurance thing would have taken the longest. Turns out, it was just the website was down last night, so there was some technical difficulties. The website's working. We got everything done faster than we thought. Oh, perfect. Sounds like the god decided to bitch slap me to sleep. Uh, after being uh, helped stood up, I would like to uh, head over to uh one of the guys that is attacking Gregor and attack them. I will attack the monk. He also takes a 2d6 uh, lying damage. Does the 16 hit? Ha! Huh. Little armor class nerd. He takes a total of 37 points of damage. Nine of that being lightning. Have you ever heard of electroshock therapy? Th that's what happens. I don't think it's dead pork, more of a uh, fried pork, more of fried fish. Then, with my bonus action, I would like to commit a war crime. Okay, I would like you to not interrupt me. I bet. I would like to use my blood curse 
of, let's see. Blood Curse of Let's See, all right. Blood Curse of the Marked on the Barbarian. So basically, uh, he get, I get to deal uh, uh, double my Crimson Right damage against him. Uh, that's on my next turn. Um, well, barbarians are notoriously, uh, dumb himbos, so I'm going to strike him with my learning curve. But himbos usually aren't that smart. You see, you see my logic here? You sure? Uh, are, are you sure? Um, uh, in, in, in tape, please. Uh, um, another one, please. Okay, so what's 50 minus 30? 20. So he takes 36 total. I do, I do two kind of, you know, surface line chops like you would when you're putting like a nice uh, prime rib into the oven to make it all nice and juicy, right? And then his brain just, you know, kaputs. evil guy there, right? Yes, an evil boy. Um, I would like to use my reaction to use my blood curse of the fallen puppet. When a creature falls unconscious or dies within 30 feet, you can use your reaction to give that creature, to have that creature make a single weapon attack. Uh, and I would like to have him attack his friend. He's not in range though, isn't he? Since he's ten feet away. If the creature dies within thirty feet of me, I can use it and have him attack someone I want to. I had gone up and killed the monster. No. Okay, so great swords range are five feet. The barbarian was next to me, and the captain was ten feet away from me. And I'm not gonna use that because, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do what Melia says. Just yeet, <laughs> yeet the great sword. I'm not gonna waste it. Without interrupting, I feel like I just have to voice my opinion on this. Because again, I, I feel like even after coming, getting everything done, coming in, it's like, why am I here? <laughs> uh, I I mean, you're you're not wrong. Uh, at least 
from my character sheet, I do have some items that make me a bit more overpowered than I should be as a rogue. I mean, dagger of blind sight, for fuck's sakes. I mean, I can't really even say this is too hard hearing the amount of Dora, uh, uh, yeah, Dora, the amount of damage Dora is doing. It's like, how? What? I mean, again, never played Blood Hunter. I don't know the full extent. I just read, so it's like, is hmm, <laughs> I don't know. Well, yes, I can do a lot of damage as long as it's you know within melee. I'm absolute shit when it comes to range. Yeah. No, no, no worries. Uh, again, I just had to like not interrupting the flow. I had to like just type up something like, like again, why am I here? Why are we here? Just to suffer? God damn it! Why? Oh, hey, it's my turn. <laughs> All right, so I'll just get up to there and I'll look, have a quick look around. Is any of my allies? Uh, actually, I better check the range on that spell. Do, 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 do. Um, they'd have to be within ten feet, wouldn't they? If I cast it, like, uh, okay, creatures within ten feet of the space you left must make a Constitution saving throw. Well, yeah, so anybody within 10 feet of me as I get up that ladder? All right. Is he the only one, or is there <laughs> others? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, what is you know what my intimidation is a plus three fuck it I'll, I'll give it a shot and I have two lucky rolls I'll look at him going you know, holding up my dagger just giving tilting my head slightly with a steel grid going I may miss most of this but I'd suggest you surrender now make it easier for yourself or you can die here choice is yours. Thirty twenty. Smart move. Yep. Uh, make sure he doesn't try anything fun. I am vaguely curious, but at the same time, I also don't care. But if you're willing to give us information, I'll hear you out.
a shame you won't be able to collect on that. And speaking of Lilium, as I hold the knife to his throat now after he's tied and just kind of glare at him, where is he? Of course he is. All right. And what if, what if a uh, Nania? Wow. Wow, Zeno. <laughs> Adora, I am so sorry. What the f- And how uh, how far ahead is is this vampire about? Hmm. Well, you know you're not good at this bargaining deal. Considering your own After hearing that last bit, uh, Joseph is going to smile a bit and kind of grab and drag him over to the edge of the ship. The sharks are still down there, aren't they? Yeah, Joseph will kind of like grab him by the collar and kind of like hold him over the ledge of it and just say, I'm not the strongest person. And you're right. I'm not exactly a good guy. But compared to the people I've been going up against, I I'm not the worst either. I'm going to be so, like, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Let's check for volleyballs on him first. Really, guys? <laughs> um, I, I know bloody intent when I can smell it, and I ain't stopping you. Because, you know, I don't look well myself. But, you know, the merchant in me says there's profit to be gained on his body, at least. Uh, Joseph's just going to look at now. I should look back at the guy going. Yeah, uh, I just kind of like glare at him for a while and then kind of pull him back on and look into his eyes going, you're going to tell me everything you know. And you're going to enjoy it, aren't you? Fey presence. I want him to make me a wisdom saving throw. Come on, fail, fail. Fuck, he got one more than me. 
Wait, can, let me reread Lucky here. Okay, so, so you can roll ability check to for a saving throw or attack roll. You can spend one to roll an additional d20 and choose which they choose to spend luck points after. Okay. No, I thought it said something about making others. No, I guess I could have been misreading it. All right, so never mind. Fuck! <laughs> I'll just throw him back on the ship in frustration. I'm just gonna stab my dagger by his head onto the ship. They're like, personally, I'd rather not have you alive. You're a liability. But if profit is what my comrades want, I have no reason to deny them that. I'm a I'm a pull up to him and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and knock him out using an alien class. Force damage knockout. I'm not gonna cast an attempt to kill, just cast just enough to knock him the fuck. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I was tempted to drop a bit, but I was hoping that maybe scaring him and then trying to use state presence would have given me or given him a disadvantage of wisdom saving throw. Just so that way I could get him to fail, we could get all the information we needed. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, I have a punctured lung, guys. Well, he, Joseph, for one, didn't know about that. So, seeing this, Joseph's gonna kind of run over, kind of slide next to Gregor and force his mouth open and sh pour a potion of healing down his throat. That'll be 2d4 plus 2. I don't know. Would a health potion like cure severe internal hemorrhaging? I. <sighs> okay. Um. Kind of a dick move to not like do anything. I was I was trying to get your guys' attention. They were just paying attention to the angry fish. To be fair, I was uh, knocked out unconscious for most of this encounter. I think that's the same on my end. Well, at least you're not dying. That's a Plus, can you get up? I'm pretty sure my legs are also severely broken. Where's Bandar when you need him?
I'm just like, oh my god, this is lovely. Can we keep? I am severely unprepared for this. I am wearing five layers. What? You can't cut out toward the- Yeah. Yes? Yeah, you know what you pay, um, uh, Twitter drawer uh, uh, is for, with. Sorry, I got a jumble. Yeah, what you pay Twitter artists with. You pay them with exposure. I hate you. I hate you, Gregor. I hate I just woke up. Do I have to? Poor guy. <laughs> it's not fire damage, it's just heat stroke. You know, that special type of damage. It's solar damage. I'm pretty sure if we're going by the rules of D&D, that's just radiant. He didn't just fail, he got a nat zero. No, a nat one, minus one, so that's zero. Yeah, I'm just gonna, right before I pass out and fall to the floor, it's like, just like college! <laughs> uh, I'm glad I didn't have to roll, because I, in one of Meta's campaigns, me and the entire party had to suffer through several rolls of constitution saving throws where we all had exhaustion because we were traveling through a is this where I die? Cooked like a smoked chicken. Dora, help me get these guys down below deck. Where's the rest of the crew? Okay. I will drag a Malleus down to the floor. I'm gonna attempt to gra drag Gregor with my six strength. And his 125 weight. God damn it. He's a chunky fellow. So I'll be dragging your ass slowly down and be and you'll feel every bump down the steps of to below deck and I'll say, You need to lose some pounds. I don't know, I'm pretty sure I can remove some of my bones seeing how they're more.
Oh, then we'll just classify classify you as an abnormal slime. How yeah. about we, palest boy around? Wait. Do uh, does everyone see this as we're all trying to work and get our allies down the road? You know, it would be kind of ironic if Chill Touch lived up to its name. <laughs> Oh, sounds like it's the best option, all, all things considered. Make that 16 for me. Yeah, because that... Uh... Uh, yeah, exhaustion plus passing the fuck out, I mean, that's, that's pretty heavy. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. I guess that'll be me. Holy shit, everyone's fucking quiet for once.
Yeah, let's keep going. Not a fan of what I just saw or heard, so. I mean, I I don't I don't want that person to die at the hand of Chain Devils. No. I mean, you and Adora are pretty fucking OP. I'm pretty sure you could handle five Chain Devils. Am I conscious for this or no? Correct. I was wondering if there was eight eight hours of pass or sixteen. Just like uh after our long rest I'm going to hand the uh... I will hand Joseph the Pike of Insomnia. Well, since no one is uh, going to wake me up and it's only eight, pa eight hours have passed, I'm assuming I'm still passed out. The bit. That, that's my thing though. No one just naturally wakes up when they're still exhausted when you pass out. You wake up until your your body feels naturally awake. So unless someone wakes me up, I'm still passed out. Okay, um And I am oh. I am a uh you know, half devil, so I do know how to speak abyssal if that needs it. How far away are the um chain devils from like the boat? Hmm. My brain's kind of telling me to take pot shots at like all the chain devils to get their attention and then just sail away so they, you know, take a dip. Uh, so, uh, Medora, how do you care? <laughs> I got a question why you're giving this to me only because, yeah, th this is an awesome weapon, but two things wrong with this it's a heavy. My strength is a Ooh, six. It's heavy. Uh, I also am a warlock. One of it says things is sleepless strikes. And it will, uh, toward the end of it, you cannot take short rests until you <laughs> your next long rests. I can't use it because it specifically says that it can only be used by humans. Give it to me. Fair, fair enough. But basically, in character, this is what you're going to see. You're like, here, Joseph, he grabs it. <laughs> Just falls with it. Um, yeah, you need some help there, Joseph. A bit. Uh, Gregor picks up the spear. Oh, uh, why did you give it to me, Adora? Curious. I oh oh god um hmm 
Uh, but yeah, if you wanted to hold on to it, just give it back to Adora, uh, bigger. Uh, it's Pike of Insomniac. Uh, returning jab would sounds like it'd be useful, useful, but I feel like it's a strength based as well, isn't it? Yeah, javelins are strength based. Ah, <laughs> that's the rapier for me. I'll keep the pike then. Wait, you're you're keeping. Are you forgetting that Gregor is a human? I have other plans with it. Oh, really? Oh, fuck! Uh, return the javelin then. I, I really don't need the rapier. I usually just use the dagger. But for range, other than my crossbow, I could always just be like, "Huck a returning javelin." <laughs> And it could also act as a uh, close quarter weapon if need be. So, okay, I'll take the return. Oh, it's it's that thing. I'm gonna shoot it in the eye with my crossbow. I'm gonna be like, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna come up from it. I I can handle those kind of things. Dude, you're asleep. I, I'm just gonna be exhausted and just wake up for this. I'm gonna go ahead and start speaking in my abysmal tongue like, how you doing there, little guy? Is the little guy hungry? Do you want some blood? I think he Like, how about, how about, one of you, I'll carry you around, and one day we'll make a pack, and, uh, you know, if, if we find some baddies, I'll feed you to them. Gregor picks up the big old sword. Dude, you already ate, like, a good pint of my blood. I'm pretty sure I'm still covered in my own blood. I, like, just under my clothes. Can, can you eat, like, a dried blood? Um, while all this is happening, I would like to take a... 10 minutes to use my grim psycho mentry feet. It does that. All right, uh, so real quick, I'm going to have to customize a uh, javelin, right? Because uh, I could not find it in the actual official gear.
No, I typed in returning, I typed in javelin, and I could not find it. I found a re I found a returning triton, but not a javelin. Um, Mr. Sword, sir, do you accept the blood of, like, demon? Humans and their kin- do you just mean, like, any humanoids, or just literally only humans? Joseph is stepping back from Gregor after hearing the part of humans. Because I'm sure I can only hear one side of this conversation, so he's stepping away from Gregor. I'm going to go ask if he accepts the blood of Christ. God damn it. Just any blood or specifically human blood? Humanoid blood, all right. Uh, yeah, that can be doable. Um, until then, can you just, like, rest on my back? Okay. And I stick it on my back. Yeah. I mean, Gregor didn't even want it up until freaking Valius was talking to me. I mean, I, I can make, I can use almost any bladed weapon. I feel like Malia should have it ge more for the fact that he doesn't have, like, any magic items yet. Yes, I do. I'm pretty sure we all do, it's just, honestly, if it comes down to it, there's no magic items that require attunement I can have. I am happy with the set I do have. Any magical items that don't require attunement, I wouldn't mind having so long as it helps, but yeah. So I'm gonna pull out my long sword, and it's the long sword of vengeance. I'd be like, "Well, this is my mother. Everyone say hello." Gregor waves to the sword. Joseph is just gonna look concerned. Oh no, no! See, her soul is binded to the sword. Some asshole assassin tried killing her, and then she used that as a last ditch effort. Oh, interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, she's a bitch. But uh, you know. That, you know, all mothers are. Joseph is now gonna glare at Malleus going, Not all, as he walks away. I think my mother was quite nice. Well, you know, I always wanted to be a merchant and deal with actual words, but you know, Ah, uh, she wanted me just to be just like everybody else and deal with souls specifically, but you know, there's no money. Alright. Would it be considered plus one or just a regular? It's magical, so what? Bypasses resistance, but doesn't have any pluses to damage. Okay. Uh, I wanted the rape, but after hearing that the javelin is dex, I'll just take the javelin and let anyone else have the other stuff. I, I only need as much as I can actually use. Just 
sorry, I zoned out for a moment. What happened? <laughs> Uh, she will go below deck and uh, start doing maintenance on her equipment. Um, I guess he's just going to be like sitting on the side of the ship and just... Well, after that comment of Mally's made about mothers, uh, he's gone down uh, below deck to be by himself, just kind of lay in a hammock or something, kind of reminisce on memories of his mother before the Walker family murdered her. Alright, well, I'm gonna go find a shady spot and take a nap or a long rest, whichever it comes. And before that, I'm gonna be like, if anything happens, wake me up. When September. Okay. That should get a rave when it makes us. Wait. I'm looking at this whole fucking dice feature, digital dice feature now. We can do it on our character sheets, are you fucking for real? Hey, d and Beyond stuff. Yeah. Uh, I decided to take a look at it while I was... Yeah. So, Mr. Big Sword, uh, what's your name? Very nice. Um, I I have another sword. Its name is the Learning Curve. Um. If people are dumb, I can I can cut them with it, and it makes the brain hurt. What does it do you do like special? If I like give you that blood. Sounds legit. Okay, got it. So, um... Yeah, enjoy your stay here. I'll try to get you some blood as soon as possible. Can I just like juice some corpses real quick? You know, just you know, stick a maple syrup tap in it, just. Lean it over by and I lost any interest in getting a soda now. Thank you. So how much blood would you say is drenching you in blood or bathing you in blood? Uh, 
Uh, I'm talking to Bootsogger. Like, how much would clarify for a bath of... Oh, all right. Yeah, I think that'll be enough. So, I guess Jalvins do consider themselves strength based because I have a negative one to fucking damage. Yeah, Jalvins, uh, I guess they're considered strength based because I have for the mod with the 1d6, it's 1d6 negative one. What? Yep, they're strength based. That's that's why they're given to like fighters and barbarians. Nope, hand axes and javelins are the strength rounds. I'll find a use for it, I'm sure. Yeah, the rapier seems like the more efficient <laughs> one. Yeah. I did not. So, so they literally just take three levels of exhaustion and just, yay. So I got a question for you, Miss, Mr. Bootswagger, sir. Um, which, like, how is it more, most comfortable for me to carry you? Because currently, I'm, like, mushing in on your teeth at the lower end of your blade mouth thing no 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 like when you're on my back since i have a little like carrying thing it's uh, it just like hooks a sword onto it uh, it's just kind of digging into your teeth Oh, all right. I'll just do that. Then. Yeah. That is a lot of things. Mm -hmm. That's a 19. Joy. Uh, so I'm swapping up the javelin for the rapier, because, yeah. 
poop. Stop being creepy. I shoot one. I'm just shooting them. So, um, yeah. I'm running. I'm a dude, and last time we fought a siren, a bunch of sirens, it Ended up being a fair fight, but they did do some damage to the hole, so no. Uh, I want to go. Ooh, I'm proficient. Eighteen. All right. I like how no one's waking me up for this. Well, it's either I keep trying to help the crew make a sailing check, or uh, I wake you up and they. Fair point. Mm. It, uh, what? Wait! 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 wait. Didn't you roll 12 and then I roll, what's with the bad 20? Oh. I can't beat a bad 20 unless I get a <laughs> Let me say, God damn it, not again. Let's go up to the top if I can.
Yo, Glutes Dogger, want, want some siren blood? Understandable. Uh, you know, I have poison spray. I can constantly just spray poison to the water. Please do, because I got nothing. <laughs> I mean, it only makes a small part of it, so I, I can only get, like, maybe one or two if they, you know, stand close together, but it's not that effective in this. It is not a cone, it just says 10 feet. It's just a spray of 10 feet. Yep. I would imagine more like, you know, you ever seen those snakes that can slurp poison? Yeah, just imagine imagine that just at the fingertips, just coming out of the fingers. Okay, um, they would uh, have to roll a cave. They're like, I, I realize this, but we'd rather just not deal with it. Uh, fuck. Oh, we have bodies. Yeah, I just, uh, I, I bled them out, but here you go. We all can do this? I thought. We all were able to hear this? I thought it was just Nellie, so that's why I was keeping silent the entire time. Right, I'm gonna be like, we have three bodies, and uh, if you want, we got one life body if you really want something fresh. You'd be like, would, would that suffice as to, uh, uh, we just part of seven graves, we feed the feces, and, or whatever you consider you guys as, and uh, we part way as amicable friends. Oh, well, you know, if we would come by this way and we have any bodies, we'd be sure to donate to you. What? What's your name? So that way we can, uh, we can, uh, you know, be better acquainted. My name is Malius the Merc. 
do you mind if I call you something a little different? My my tongue isn't as gifted as yours. Are you are you uh no just cause uh, uh I'm a little deaf when it comes to genderization. Are you a male or female? I'm I'm gonna soon. Uh, you know what? I am terrible at this. I'm just gonna call you Alpha then. That sounds good. That in, in some countries that's considered to be top. All right. All right, Alpha. My name is uh, again now is the Merchant. I'll go ahead and toss those three bodies, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and. Do you want it with clothes or without clothes? The live body. Oh, but they're in salt water. It's just automatically salted in salt water. We we can we can put some herbs in them. We can stash the fuck out of them with rosemary. I'm sure there's rosemary on this shit. All right, let's let's do this. Uh, can you give me five minutes of the light body? I uh, I'll go ahead and tell my compatriots to give you the three dead bodies to uh to at least seat your appetite. Right, I'm a. What's happening right now? We're feeding the fishies today. I'm gonna tell them. Throw the dead bodies overboard. We're gonna feed our guests here tonight, and then uh, I'm gonna look at Jack's chat like. So, what kind of concoction do you like? Do you, do you want a, a hub of remedy? We got potions here that'll help you out. No, no, I'm talking to Jack Strat, like looking at the eleven herbs and spices, like it's some sort of, like I'm gonna concoct some sort of potion to feed him. Feed yeah. him. You know, so you get that nice, like, uh, herbal cleanse. And it also makes it that you can bake them really nice when well. Uh, okay, uh, uh, buddy, here, would you mind declothing him? We uh, we made some sort of bargain. Uh, now we we can do this the easy way, where I can toss you overboard with your hands tied, or we can do this the hard. Uh, what we can do is the easy way where you, you jump, you, you push you off, your hands are freed, we give you a fair chance. Or we can do this the hard way, where we just throw you with naked, with ropes, and that's it. I can hog tie people. Again, your choice. You want a fighting chance, or you want no chance? Joseph's gonna come down and he, after hearing all this yelling and shit, he's gonna be like, And I thought you guys wanted him alive for profit. Sheesh, I should have just fed him to the sharks then. Yeah, but see, this is our, our profit. We are now profiting, but not having to do shit. So that is profit, if I may say so. That is the whole point of money. So you cannot do shit. Yo, I mean, we we actually didn't gain anything. We still need information from him. You're about to throw him to the sirens for free. Do you actually no? We we turn to the sirens to have compatriots of the sea. Now the next time we return in this direction, and we have to face them again, we might have a better bargaining chip. Hey, uh, Malleus, I I have some butcher twine, and I I know how to tie knots. Oh, that would be greatly appreciated. Now, let me ask this fellow one more time. Do you want a chance to live, or do you want a chance to just instantly die? Your choice, buddy. Okay, then. And, uh... This and, is uh, a goddamn fucking mutiny is what this shit is. 
you can be like, well, what you see here is we feed the fishies, and then we have a better chance the next time we come past around. Or we feed the fishies, and they remember us, and like, oh, they have something we can have. Either them or whatever bodies they've gathered. So, exactly. If we have compatriots wherever we go, the more connections, the better. Connections connect- are everything, my friend. I did say either them, referring to us, genius, or bodies we may have gathered. If we don't have the bodies, who do you think they're coming for? We can simply tell them that uh, the next encounter we get just to follow us around, we get the bodies and we feed it to them. They'll be more amiable the next time. Well, I'm going to go through those uh, bodies overboard real quick. And call me back then if you need me to tie. Can you just tie them right now? Sure thing. He's already tied. We never untied him. Uh, Joseph is going to get ready, get the crew ready to like get a good gust of wind in the moment Gregor throws those three bodies down. I'm not staying to throw a fresh live person in that has valuable information. We're gone. All right. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and toss the other body overboard. We're gone. I had the ship moving the moment Gregor threw those bodies down. We so you could toss them in as much as you want. Uh, they're not gonna get it, and you're gonna be throwing him into nothing but open water for other creatures to get him. So you're not giving our patriots anything, and we're losing information. Oh, okay, I didn't know you had to immediately gone, gone. That's, I thought maybe Zeno was going to say it was going to take a while or not. I, I I already tied him up with butcher's twine. Uh. We asked if we can tie him up first, and he said he would do that first. Yeah, technically, he's been tied up since we interrogated him. Oh, okay. Oh, we never, uh, I guess, we never untied him, I guess, so, um, we, we leave Well, the, the, the second I realize the boat's moving forward, I'm going to be like, well, I guess the captain's decided you're going to live a little bit longer. Does this ship have any sails? I mean, you would think it would. No, no, I mean, like, a sail, like, sail, like, sail, sail. Oh, so. We're like, mm, we might want to fix this. Um, 
I'm gonna call forever who is nearby. Like, do we have a spare room where we can just lock him in? He can sleep in my room or be tied up in my room. So I'm be like, all right, here, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna give you some food and some water, and then I'm gonna tie you up to the main post. That sounds good to you. We're gonna give you some nice food here. We went to the bathroom, so give him a bit. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say to him like, all right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna tie him up to the main post. Make sure he gets enough food and water beforehand, so that way, uh, he doesn't get injured, and uh, make sure he gets a nice shady bit. On, on, on the deck. Right, and uh, I'm gonna make sure he gets uh, uh, adequate food and water so that way he doesn't fight too. Hey, it's me. Joseph is gonna start to grumble and be like, God damn it, Narnius, what the fuck did you just give us into? I'm going to use a lucky. Good better. Alright, so I'm gonna try getting the note out and reading this thing. Joseph is just going to kind of nervously wave back and be like, No! As he goes down below the deck to give him the paper to kind of explain the situation. It said scrap? 
scraps. In other words, they're gonna take the scraps of whatever carnage we wake along. They're like, goody! Maybe on the next encounter we can ask them for a little bit of help! Well, Zeno, we just have more NPCs for you to deal with. Some science now. <laughs> They turn on us. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, if we don't, though, who do you think they're coming after? Yeah, but they live out here in the sea. They are more ho at home than we are. And be like, well, see, the thing is, even if it can't be exactly trusted, we can at least trust them more than a parrot. Because a parrot's cunning. We at least know what they want, and they want one thing. That is food. Give him the food, and now we'll feed it. Now what's the rule for? I'm worrying. We always got plan B if we really, really got desperate, and uh. Kind of look uh, close to our uh, our uh, little prisoner there, but I make sure I say that on a in a very quiet tone. So you... and with that, Joseph's gonna go over to the prisoner, try to throw pres presents once more to see if I can't get him to start yapping his fucking mouth off to me about what we need. Wisdom saving throw. Yay! He failed! Charmed. I'm trying to get him to talk to me like you have a friend and spill his guts to me. I, I want him to tell me all these, all the secret information he knows that he's been saying he has. The what? Joseph's going to be like, clever motherfucker. So, what's this secret information you have that you've been keeping so digitally a hold of to keep yourself alive?
So basically we're just saying all our objectives align to one island, the drow island. So what you're saying. That is very useful information, indeed. So anything else you might have? Oh, well, then you gravely don't know freaking what's going on in Rexland very well, then. Great. I could be totally oblivious to what's going on, but, you know, all the conflicts you and other people like you've been causing don't really help matters either. But... That's your opinion now, isn't it? And again, I don't know exactly what's going on on either of your ends. All I do know is maybe being a pirate and sailing the seas and attacking merchant ships that might go to the coast near Rexland probably doesn't help matter. I fail to see what he's done to your people, though, considering right now he's trying to save off a war with the elves. Would I have seen any fish markets being sold or even any tritons from Rexland? my time being there. Hmm. Well, maybe your people would be, wouldn't be so much in poverty if you actually set up a stall over there or even made an attempt to find work over there. Maybe your people are making an attempt to reach out to Rex. And maybe Rex is doing the same. Maybe you're just doing this because you're being spiteful to a king that has something you don't. Well. Growing up on the streets? Hmm? I can't really blame you. But I haven't worked my way up into a barony. To be honest, not the brightest idea if you want to solve an issue. No, I'm about to see mine though. As I look to Malleus, I think it's time for him to take a swim. So seeing as he's, he's charmed, uh, and and the the ropes are loose, he'd be like, hmm. Yeah, he will. Uh, he, 
he won't attack us, but at the same time, he won't, like, let us throw him in the water either. That's part of the thing of charm. He won't. He will like, well, I'm just going to be like, since you guys are all buddy buddies and all, we would love to be able to trust you. Can we, can we tie you up again? We'll, we'll be sure to uh, let you live a lot longer. We'll even let you go at the coastline. Does that sound fair? Can we tie you up? Not just for your safety, but ours as well. We need mutual trust here. Okay, that that sounds more than fair as I look to my compatriot and be like, should we uh tie up real well now? Yes. Huh. So I'm gonna use my do I have the ring rope? I don't actually. Wow, fuck! I used up the rope. I'm pretty sure we can find some rope. I, so. I got, I got rope. I'm gonna like, well, I'm gonna use my rope here. It's uh, very long here, so uh, we're gonna make sure we get your arms pretty nice and tight. Uh, tell me if it does hurt, though. We don't want to cause too much of this. I'm going to take some string, though. I'm gonna tie him, tie his thumbs together. Can't believe this guy was jerking or jerking us around, pretending to be tied up. The fucking corporate bastard. I'm gonna go look at him and like, do you want heads or tails? I'm looking at Joseph, by the way. Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'll take tails. Yep, so, yeah, this will be fun. I'm pretty sure we've tied them up by now, but... Uh, All right. Uh, well, it's not going to be a lot bait, then. I swear to God, the only way he could probably be us is if he was a 20 or a 20. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do quick and spell. Um, and I'm going to do... Uh, What's it called? Double Blast of uh, Elder. That's 10 damage in, uh, for that, and then I'm going to go ahead and attack with my, with my uh, long sword. Of In one move, I ended up doing, what, 15, 15 damage on him? Alright, so let's see. What can I do? What can I do? No, oh, he'd have to be a willing creature, unfortunately. Oh, unfortunately. Oh, it would have been so funny, though, if I could. Alright. I'm going to Let's see. We're all right next to each other, so this will be bad. Can I possibly get like behind him so that way to the point where he's still within ten feet of me, but uh, Malleus isn't?
Yeah, uh, that's not what I was looking for to, to do. Don't worry. I was. I'm hoping to do a spell. I just wanted to make sure I can keep uh, my comrade out of it. So I'm going to move in, kind of like put my hand on the ground, kind of slide around him to get behind him, and just smile as. Oh, uh, what is it? How does it do? Yeah, as tendrils of dark energy start erupting from my coat as I smile and I say, Arms of Ada! And now let's see. Uh, okay. Each creature in the area must make a strength saving throw. And on a failed save, the target takes 2d6 necrotic damage and can't take reactions until the next turn. On successful saves, the creature takes half the damage. And actually, wait. Yeah, my damage goes up because uh, it's set a higher level. Thank you, Warlock. So he needs to meet me a strength saving throw. Uh, really, it's not on here. Jesus. Well, he doesn't have to worry about suffering the effect of not being able to take reactions, but he will still take half the 446. Oh, well, that would be 8. Yep. And what do I have for bonus actions? Um, I'll use my bonus action to help uh, Malleus on his next attack, which will give him advantage. I can do that within 30 feet, thanks to Master Tactics. That'll be the end of my turn, good sir. So he's leaving, essentially, is what I'm here. I'm just going to smile. Look at the boat, look at the water, look to where the possible uh, sirens are. It's like, would you say he's swimming? Uh, I look to uh, my, you know, Joseph. I mean, he's not on our ship, and it's technically scraps. So, uh, how about a fireball? I'm going to go ahead and do a quick and spell. Uh, Eldritch Blast to aim at the ship itself, and then a fireball to uh, wreck it up some more. Aim into one. <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, with that Eldritch Blast, you do have advantage, being as Master Tactics.
All right. Um, with that, I do have to end it because my daughter's trying to call me now. Yep. <laughs>